Good morning, dear students, or maybe it's a good day. I don't know where you're coming from, but hello. And today we are continuing our story about explorers. And today we're going to speak a little bit about what kind of essential, important items we need to put inside of our backpack and how to prepare for this amazing journey what kind of habitats I don't know you're going to visit but let's go and do some planning for preparation our backpack yeah now let's look what kind of items what kind of objects what kind of subjects we need to put inside of our backpack pack your bags take the right things explore pack different equipment and clothing for different places and different weather. However, there are some essential items that they must always pack for their safety and survival. That's why we can see that explorers, they're putting different kind of subjects, different kind of items and tools it can be clothes, it can be uh, tools that they need to use in the forest or climbing uh, the mountain. That's why let's look what kind of things they need to prepare because they need to prepare by the habitat and by the weather they're going to visit. Your backpack should be comfortable. It should be easy to carry and to bring and it should be large enough for your kid. And even you can see our explorers they are climbing up the mountain what a huge but comfortable backpack they are having firstly taste it out you can taste it out when you're going to the picnic when you're going for a long time before your trip and top tip pack your backpack in the reverse order so that the things you need first will be at the top that's why the main things that you will need will be at the top of the back. Now, what are essential items? What are important tools and what are important objects we need to put inside of our bag? Yes, here we can see matches that are keep dry can be used to make a fire because you need to prepare food. You need to keep your body warm that's why you need to make a fire and of course you need to protect yourself from the enemy this animals that's why you need to make a fire and what will help you of course matches now next one let's look a pen knife can be used to cut wood and foot because to make a fire you need to collect the wood you need to cut it you need to prepare and especially you can see this pen knife they have with lots of lots of different kind of knives where you can open the bottle or you can cut your food that's why what should we have firstly we need to have a matches then we need to have a pen knife next one for finding for finding your direction and not to be lost in the forest you need to have a compass and a map they will help you to find your way yeah as we know because before we need to prepare our plan where we're going to and of course all the maps they have got different kind of scale measurement that's why we need to be ready and by the map or by the compass we will talk about them a little bit later next one what should we have we need to have a torch shows people where you are and help you see in the dark that's why for this one you need to have an extra battery because torch is working with the batteries that's why when it's going to be dark at night you need to show the way again you need a torch and of course extra batteries yes a whistle can be used to signal for help if you're lost if you are alone and you need to call for help, you need to have a whistle. Yeah, that's why don't forget to put whistle into your bag. 
Next one, of course, always carry a water bottle. Always carry a water bottle because you will be thirsty. Uh, the water that can be outside is not suitable for the drink. It can be dirty, it can be poison you. That's why we need to have a water bottle for drinking and to make your hydrated. Next one, string or cord useful for making shelters. Shelters, yeah, because you need to stay somewhere. Sometimes you can have a tent, but if something will happen, you need to make a shelter. You need to make to make this a place of staying a shelter. You need to make yourself. That's why you will make using a string. Or if you need to tie some wood parts, some branches, that's why you need what? You need a string or cord. Next one, of course, we need to have a waterproof coat that will keep your dry. That's why better if you will choose the light one that will keep, if it's hot, you can put it in the backpack again. When you are hungry and when you are energetic, and you're walking for a long time, you need something that you need to eat. Yes, that's why energy chocolate or high energy snack bars are useful when you cannot find food to keep your full, not hungry, not thirsty, because you can die from the starvation, yeah? If there is no food or there is no wood, uh, food that you can find, like a berries, like a... Uh, that's why you need to have this kind of energy bars that will give you energy for walking for a long way. And of course, we said pack a first aid kit near the top so you can get to it quickly. Always when we go in something, something can be happen, you can injure your hand or leg or something, you know, some insects can bite you, everything can be happen and it's kind of extreme weather condition or something. That's why we need to have this first aid kit. What can be inside? Later again, we're going to talk about that we can put some plaster, we can put some antibacterial cream, we can put some uh, bandage that we can put some uh, maybe painkiller medicine that will uh, for the first hours will help you and put it at the top of the your bed. If something will happen immediately, you can use it right that time. And explorers will always take what they will take. A camera, a camera for what? For taking amazing pictures of the views and landscapes, a magnifying glass if they want to observe and if they want to explore some box or maybe some interesting things, binoculars for looking for uh, something far that they want to explore, small bags to collect things, maybe they will put some uh, plants that they're going to explore and work with it and notebook and a pen to record what did they see what they, did they learn and what they're going to study on yes now it's things that we should put inside of our bag it's a little bit idea is giving us and it will inform us what kind of things we need to prepare now let's go to the next preparation of our mission to the extreme places yes let's continue find your way which way imagine you are deep in a forest there are trees all around you and here i've got a tree which way do you go when there are no signs or roads to follow, explorers use a compass and a map to navigate. That's why they're using a compass and they're using a map to show the way. North, south, east, west. A compass can help you work out where you are. The compass arrows, we can see here the compass and this red arrow is important. The compass arrow always point to the direction of north. From here you can see a position of east, south and west too. 
a good map will also show these positions. Here we can see how to read on the map and compass direction. Top of the map is going to be north on the compass. Right on the map is going to be east on the compass. Bottom of the map is going to be south of the compass and left of the map is going to be west on the compass and remember to keep your eyes open and e even ears too for clues when you are lost and some maps show the position of rivers mountains villages and railways where if we are lost that's why we need to look to the map as it's going to navigate us top tip a compass and a map can be lined up to guide you in the right direction. That's why before your exploration, your trip, you need to draw a line, proper line, and because the map can confuse where should I go. But the line that you will do before will show you direction and navigate you where should you go. How far is it? Different maps are drawn to different scales. They have a different kind of measurement. On the map, on one map, we can see one centimeter might show one kilometer approximately. I'm showing sure like this. But on another map, one centimeter should hold to 10 kilometers. To work on out this distance between two places, you need to know the scale on the map. That's why you need to read the bottom side. And even if it can be one centimeter, it can be 10,000 kilometers or even more. Many explorers use global positioning system GPS to help them navigate and GPS uses information from satellites to show exactly where you are on earth and how to get from where you are to where you want to be here you can see it's like a telephone a little bit but it's connected to the satellite that's why directly if there is no connection of the internet that's why even uh, it's going to show you can't talk with it only you can see the direction where you need to go as if it's like a small computer that uh, is connecting to the satellite and will navigate you now today we were told about what a backpack what kind of uh, uh, items you need to put inside, what kind of essential objects and tools you need to use and how to prepare it, what should be at the bottom, what should be at the top and why we should use compass and why should we use uh, the map. Yes, that's why. Thank you for coming to my lesson. See you next day. Again, we are continuing with our explorers. Keep your life navigated to Miss Catherine and Teach me primary. Thank you. Goodbye.